Hi everyone and thanks very much for joining me, I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and we're back with another one. It's a big one, it's a beast, it's the Asgard from Vapors Cloud. Vapors Clyde do have a pedigree when it comes to doing large RDAs and this is no exception. Back in the day they used to do the range of Buddhas and the, I can't remember which version it was but they were well renowned, they were well known and they were fantastic because they were large chunky RDAs, diffused airflow and things that you could put on the top of things like this stacked 26650 mod from Bay City Vapor that I got years ago and was patinaed by Corrosive Creations back in the day. Now the Asgard as I said is no exception. It's a big RDA, 30mm RDA, 33 if you use the included beauty ring and so you're going to need something fairly chunky to put it on. That being said they are bringing out a 25mm version in the very very near future. Let's just get a vape on. Now then, I've got this on top of the Stormbreaker at the moment, and that's also from Vapors Clan. Now, obviously, we've got a nice big chunky mod there, so you can sit that happily on top of there. Now, what I'll do is I'll leave a, a little um, card up the top there. Is it up on this side or is it up on this side? One of the corners, it'll have a card up showing the review, my review of the Stormbreaker. If you want to go and check that out, I'll stick a link in the description as well. Now then, if you want to pop this, pop this on top of some larger mechs, then I think the only one that I've got that it would fit on top of is the overpowered being the 30 mil however it would need to be a fair chunky beast. You can cloud your face off with this. However, for me personally, I do like to close that airflow down, possibly about halfway, maybe two thirds, or maybe a third of the way, sorry. Um, and that way I get a good restriction on that airflow. Now, even fully open, there is a slight restriction. It's not completely unencumbered. And that comes from the very, very clever Ultim section they've got in the middle. Now the Ultim directs the airflow and that means that it gets smashingly underneath your coils, but it it also means that it reduces the chamber on the inside there so that pushes that flavor out even more which is fantastic. The Ultim does lock on top of the deck so that makes sure it doesn't twist about and go anywhere that it shouldn't do and when you're when you're adjusting your airflow holes you're adjusting the 50 floor 50 floor 54 airflow holes that are around the outside there. For those of you that like to squonk this is something that you can do that with very very easily and they've done something that was seen I think it was in the Velocity V2 back in the day where you've got a small grub screw inside the 510. So that means that uh, you just have to pull that out, you don't have to disturb your coils, you don't have to upset anything, you can just pull that out if you want to squonk with it and you enjoy your build or pop it in if you want to stick it on a mod like a mech or a very large regulated mod. One of the clever things they've done with the squonk pin in this one, because it's that little grub screw that goes in the 510, you can actually store it inside the deck. There are a couple of spare grub screws for that 510 in case you lose them they're stored in the deck although they do give you another one in the packaging as well as the tiny dinky little allen key it takes to take them out so make sure you don't lose that allen key building it couldn't be easier you've got four two and a half by three mil holes now i would like to see these holes be a little bit on the larger side in all honesty along with a little bit larger screws now i've not had any problems with the screws i've not had so i've not stripped any of them not threaded any any of them or anything like that and i've put a massive amount of coils in here since i've had it i have had it since before probably a week or two before the release at expo and i've used this a lot since then and i've got to say this is without a doubt one of my favorite all-time RDAs of this size and one of my favorites the Vapors Clyde have produced. 
I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier on, but they are actually going to be bringing out a 25mm version of this one as well. So if you don't like the massive beasts, then you can have something a little bit more accommodating. Um, I haven't seen that as yet, but that will be out very, very soon. Now the deck is 10mm deep, so it is a very deep juice well indeed, and that means that because your coils are up nice and high, you can have a hell of a lot of wick going in there. I've seen people putting wick along the bottom, I've seen putting, people putting wick up in a kind of a V shape. I think someone posted on my Vape and Biker Facebook page about that, sort of in between the coils. So you can wick like there's no tomorrow in this if you want to. However, that being said, I just have my wick tails coming out of the coils, going down into the deck. And if you're using Muji sheets, then you very you have to cut off very little of them because you can really pack this in. Now today I'm using this um, electric Lotus from Harmony. Um, and it's quite nice. I got this in my sample box. That's the stuff that I'm using today and I'm enjoying it rather a lot. At the time of recording this, the first batch of them have been sold out. However, the second batch is on the way. So if you check out the Vapors Cloud website or if you go to evolutionvaping.co.uk, I think my biker code still may work with those guys. So give that a go and you might get a little bit of a discount as well. I do think they do ship worldwide as well. Another thing that I would say for me is a partial negative, but it's subjective, is the fact that when you are adjusting your airflow, because of that ultimate on the inside, you can't see really how many holes you've got open and sort of closed off. So you have to kind of give it a suck and, uh, and figure out if you like where you're at. But that and the screws are the only things that I can throw at this. When it comes to the actual use of this RDA, quite frankly, it's spectacular. Since I posted pictures up on Facebook and on Instagram and so on, people have said, plenty of people have said that it's their favorite RDA and I can totally understand why. It's big, it's flavorful, it does exactly what you want, and quite frankly, I think it's a beast. Coming in at around about 45 pounds, it's not gonna break the bank either. So if you've got a mod big enough to pop this on, then I think you this is something that you need to go out and buy. I don't say that very often, and this isn't a paid review or anything like that, but I just really like this RDA. I think that's about all I can tell you. A 30mm RDA, 33mm if you wanna use the beauty ring, as I've got going on right here. Um, Great flavor, great airflow, nice restriction. The Ultim on the inside is just genius. Um, I think it looks great. It's not heavily emblazoned with logos. While the Asgard logo is quite big um, and the Vapors Cloud logo on the other side isn't, uh, it doesn't kind of interrupt your eyesight. It doesn't really kind of give you a kick in the face with it. It's quite lightly engraved on there, which I think is lovely. Um, I think it's great that you can alter the airflow nice and easily. Make sure your O-rings are lubricated as always. But uh, all in all, I think Vapors Cloud have done a spectacular job with this. And uh, like I said, if you like a big RDA, go out and buy one. I cannot wait until they do the 25mm version of this. I'm very much looking forward to that. I know this has been a bit of a gush fest, but this is how I feel. <laughs> I think it's awesome. I'm going to keep this one in my collection for sure. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Have it larger!